So some jobs in the shop aren't that fun. So let's figure out how to make this one not so hard. We've done it before, so we thought we'd share with you the trick. Let's count a zillion teeth on a super fine pitch gear that we're either gonna reverse engineer or we're gonna check. Part of the quality system, just gotta do it. So the first time around, you go, oh, hey, we already made a video on that, it's easy. But that gear had big teeth, and this one has tiny teeth. I can't see that good, so that's just not a fit. So until anybody else can figure out what you're doing, the best way to stay busy is to pull your tools out, figure out how you're gonna turn this outside diameter into circumference, and then count it as a pattern. As humans, we're quite good at seeing linear patterns. They're everywhere, we use them all the time. And our brain and our eyes, the way they're put in our head, we just can't count really readily things that are on a round circle like that. We need to turn it into a linear feature. And this is kind of inspired by a lot of events, really. One, uh, having a, one of these gears in oil and you, you, ro you roll it on a table and it leaves a nice stain on there, but uh, patterns are everywhere. We use them for decoration, but we also use them a lot in our shops for metrology tools, scales, etc. So why don't we turn the gear teeth on their side and turn them into a pattern, and roll them and see what they look like. Here's a few different patterns from using ink and rolling the gear on a piece of paper in your shop. That linearizes the gear. All right, so first of all, when you're gonna roll it, you might wanna try a few different things, never seize grease, whatever you got in your shop. But let's try a few things, then I'll, I'll give you the tips on what are, what are some good ones. Never seize is fantastic, leaves a nice mark. If you notice also, we put some piece of solder in here, nice soft piece of solder so it wouldn't harm the gear. And we used it so that we could know when the first gear came back, gear tooth came back around, gear tooth space actually. So we rolled it and you know, like I said, us as humans, we're really good at noticing patterns. So I roll it, but the wire got in the way. It broke, the gear rolled over it. So don't, don't mess with that. So how about we just uh, use never season, roll it again and see what happens. And you know, we get a really pretty good mark when you're paying attention. You can steer it straight. That looks pretty good. And you can kind of see where it begins and ends, but knowing exactly which tooth correlates, you can figure it out, but you need some more certainty and, and that's just increasing WD-40 on there. It just makes a mess and it's hard to read. So I think the next one is Dichem. And everybody's got some blue dichem in their shop, maybe red for bad parts, blue for good, something like that. We got both. So let's put some of this uh, on a gear. And it's a lot like ink, as, as you know. And uh, let's roll that and see what happens. And you know, it, it, it didn't leave a, a great mark and it dries really quickly is, is one of its properties. So let's go find something else. How about we just do a Sharpie and, and let's color this gear. You got to do it quickly because the Sharpie is also an ink that's going to dry. So I'm trying to put the mark mainly on one side of this gear with the black Sharpie. And then let's come in with a red Sharpie when we get done, kind of leaving a gap there for a little spot of red Sharpie. So let's just put it on one tooth. If you can do it, you got times against you, so you need to do this quick. And as you can tell, I, I'm turning left while I'm doing this. So but it makes a nice mark and you can see the red mark clearly uh, from a pattern recognition standpoint as humans, we're just really good at recognizing those patterns. So there's the little red mark there and that's where it repeats. Now I calculated the circumference earlier so you can come check this with your uh, calipers and see that that's about the right space and get some confidence about uh, where this is. So this is a great way to write and document for whatever system you use or, you know, as, as a confirmation of either machine setup or a gear tooth. And fine pitch gears are just bedeviling this way. They're, they're just so hard to count because there's so many teeth on such a small gear. You can see this kind of enhances it. And then, you know, instead of counting them with a pencil, I just usually drag them into Excel, make a little box that's 10 gear teeth wide. 
make it a little translucent so you can kind of see what you're doing. And then I just repeat that box. Once I get one, I just put them there. I just double check that I, they're all 10. I'm turning, learn, turning left here, unfortunately, so I'm still kind of adjusting these boxes and getting them straightened out. And I know what the answer is for this particular gear, but I wanted to make sure I, I could count it and do this fairly quickly. So if you've got a smartphone, a Sharpie, and some form of spreadsheet, you can come in here and get the right answer. You could also use your uh, nice stair tools to do it. That's how you can make an A on the gear quiz and document it nicely. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. That's how you count a zillion teeth on a fine pitch gear in your shop with very inexpensive, if not zero cost tools. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.